After Bin Tabat, we bring the food and set it up over here on the table in the kitchen area. These are the types of things that... Oh. <laughs> And the people that are not monks we call yom. And they're every morning in here preparing dishes. <laughs> yom Tim used to own a restaurant, so her food is awesome. She quit the restaurant now. She uh, maintained at the temple now. Yeah, so every she, temple, wherever they meet, huh? She goes around and cooks for the different uh, temples. So when you see Yom Tim, you know it's going to be good food. <laughs> uh, mochi sticky rice. It's a lot of work. <coughs> Mushrooms. Picked locally. And then platu. We have some uh, fish roasting. <laughs> Local food from Isan. Also, this is called gang om. Anything gang is stewed. Om kerlai, you eat pasang kerlai. Yum yui. Om kerlai pasang kerlai. Om. Om. Oh, my chai. My chai pon la mai, my chai si. Gang ke stu. Om ke stu man gan. So it's stew, stew. Yeah. Om kisan, om kai sai pak. Luk pak kisan. Man me lut. It's got. Chai lut jeun na, luong luong, ma chai tong jeun. Gourd and chicken. It looks like dom jeun. It looks like it's, um. The clear broth, but she said it's not dome chit. It's a little different. Hen lao. Hen lao, bird lao. So, I don't usually wander into the kitchen. Uh, but one of the other monks thought it would be a good idea, so I headed in there. It was a good idea. Thanks for that. And from here, I head into the sala, which is the main area. Check, make sure the steps are okay, because they were doing some construction on it yesterday. And once I'm inside, I will set my bot down. 
I already brought my ton earlier this morning and I set it in there on my way to catch my ride to Bin Tabat. Now, how's the stabilization on this S22 phone camera? I didn't do any presettings to make it stable or anything. This is just right out of the phone, how it looks. This is the Sala. So that's my time. And I'll set the rice down here and go back to my kuti and tend to my feet <laughs> and a couple other things and then come back for the food type ceremony. Maybe I'll try to film it. Good morning. Head weird. Bye bye. Pot on the Dai Boon Lai. The morning routine is extensive to say the least. Food is very important and it helps give you an insight into why Thai food is so good because it's so important to Thai people. It's incredible to the degree life revolves around it. I have a relative in the United States. The kids are born in the United States. They're half Thai. They're in their 30s and 40s and the mother still buys bags and bags of rice and gives the rice to the grown children and their families and they've told me there's no way we could ever eat this much rice. I don't know why my mom does this. Well, to understand Thai food, you have to understand a little bit about Thai culture. This is a huge ceremony every single day revolving around the food. And Thailand is a country that is bountiful. I can confidently say you will never starve in Thailand. Just drive down the street of any major city. People are lined up along the streets selling food. It's cheap, it's delicious. You can see the care that is put into it. There is a spiritual aspect to it. When you give somebody food, you give something to yourself, I don't want to get all metaphysical, but but it's true. You feel good. When you give somebody something, you, you feel good. Um, the way to rectify anger is with kindness. The way to rectify any kind of ill, feel, Ill feelings you may have or things that happen to you, uh, giving helps you feel better. So it's a symbiotic relationship between the Thai people that are outside the temple, Yom, 
if you're not a monk, you're yom. And the monk, which is prat. When you give, you feel good. So the monks are providing spiritual support to the local populace. And the local populace truly love waking up in the morning, steaming some rice and giving a handful to the monks. To the Western mind, I don't know if that's difficult to understand, but if you live here and you're in the culture, then you understand. And it kind of helps you understand why so much care is taken and given with preparing Thai food. And why it usually needs to be cooked a certain way. Regionally, of course, they have different ways of cooking different things, of course. But there are foods that are common throughout the entire country. And each region has its own uh, specialties. So to understand Thai food, truly understand Thai food, you need to understand Thai culture. And to understand Thai culture, you need to understand Thai food. <laughs> Take off the outside slippers, put on the inside slippers. They look the same. <laughs> Get up on my toes to get the key in the lock. And before the eating ceremony, I'll clean up my feet, put some medicine on them, and head to the Main Sala Ceremony Hall for food. What you looking at?